As uh, the Biden administration focuses on the Ukrainian border and there's a possibility the president might actually go to that border later today or tomorrow, another border crisis is brewing right here at home. Texas Congressman Tony Gonzalez revealing what's happening our, on our own southern border with these photos of migrants saying Border Patrol agents were forced to release them into the United States because of overcapacity. And he joins us right now from Florida. Good morning to you, Congressman. What, what is going on? Why did you put these pictures out? Yeah, good morning, Steve. And, you know, I, I want to show the world exactly what is happening. I, I get there's a lot happening in the world. Ukraine is certainly important. The Supreme Court is certainly important. But this border crisis has not stopped. You know, we saw Haitians overwhelm Del Rio August of last year. We're seeing the exact same thing now. Only thing, it's not Haitians. It's Cubans and Venezuelans. And they're, they're coming to Del Rio, but they're also coming to Eagle Pass, Uvalde, and Carrizo Springs. They've essentially spread out the uh, the influx here. And now the, the administration is talking about doing away with Title 42, literally the last bastion that is holding things back. It's absolutely insane. Republicans have fought hard to keep Title 42 in place. As bad as this crisis is, Title 42 goes away, and this, this turns into a nightmare overnight. Sure. Title 42 uh, allowed our Border Patrol and Protection officers to say, hey, because of the COVID emergency, you can't come in because you might have COVID. Uh, but if they get rid of that, there will be a whole That's bunch right. of people here. But in the meantime, you would think that the Border Patrol would just say, hey, you can't come in because you're not a citizen, because there are a bunch of laws on the books right now that keep you from coming in. You'd think they'd use that, but uh, instead the administration is essentially saying, hey, our policy right now is working great. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. I mean, step one is, is enforcing the policies that are already in place. And it starts with this administration holding the Biden administration accountable. You know, back to 42, uh, you know, 40 percent of all uh, uh, encounters uh, qualify for Title 42. What does that mean? These historic numbers are about to double overnight if this goes away. The other part I'd mention is the agents on the ground, they're, they're working their tails off and their mental health, they're beyond broken. You know, their suicide rates are right. historic. You know, last week in Del Rio, last week in Del Rio, there was a four-year-old little girl that drowned. Imagine if you're an agent and mm. you're having to deal with all these different deaths and, and you're in these processing centers all day. This administration is not taking care of the Border Patrol agents at all. Well, and the other uh, news yesterday about immigration was that uh, the this administration is going to uh, invite 100,000 Ukrainians into the country as part of the refugee program. It's going to go over the, the limit, but nonetheless, they're being invited. They will do it the legal way. Our southern border is just another case, isn't it? No, it, that's right. And meanwhile, here we are dealing with a fentanyl crisis. You know, I, I ask, you know, can we afford to not secure the border? The answer should be no. We should be securing the border because fentanyl is coming over at record numbers and it's killing Americans all over the United States and it's coming through the southern border. Yeah. You know, if anything else, everybody should be focused on securing the border to stop this fentanyl crisis. Indeed, it is a killer. Uh, Tony Gonzalez, Congressman, sir, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, Steve. You bet.